Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday on the 26th of March, late yesterday in my part of the world, Google rolled out the early stable update for Chrome 135, which will be our next stable release. And as you may well know, the early stable is rolled out about a week or so before um, it becomes generally available to the public. And it rolled out yesterday on the 26th, so I would suggest that next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, 135 will become available to the public. Now, when the update does roll out, the version and build will be upgraded to 135.0.7049.41. And it's always hard to tell before the actual release rolls out what new features we are going to get. Because I have noticed of late, as I've been talking about, that Google is rolling out new front-facing tweaks and adjustments more with point release updates than with version upgrades. And with the major version upgrades, they are really focusing more on security and privacy, um, according to the Chrome platform status. So obviously, because of that, we will get our weekly security fixes that will be rolling out with 135. And then just to mention some other under the hood um, tweaks and adjustments according to the Chrome platform status. Now, I think security and privacy will be at the key of the next update according to the Chrome platform status, where apparently a significant focus will be placed on um, better security, including improvements in detecting and mitigating online scams through the use of on-device large language models, LLMs, and in regards to large language models, uh, there's also going to be better and strengthened password form detection for the, um, obviously, using your Google Password Manager and when you're using passwords in the browser with client-side machine learning. So quite a bit going on with machine learning uh, in the um, next update. And there will also be updates to how Chrome apparently will handle third-party cookies, particularly when using incognito mode, which is the private browsing in the browser, which will also be aimed at improving um, privacy. More specifically, it will always be blocking third-party cookies, which will always be blocked. And then something just to mention regarding Android, which I think is quite significant, is that there will be support for edge-to-edge -edge layout that extends content behind the navigation bar which I think is a very nice move if you are using Chrome on your Android device. And then in regards to little tweaks and adjustments when it comes to um, the user interface, something we could see roll out, because obviously um, this is subject to change what I'm talking about today, but what we could see roll out, if we just head over to the early preview version, Canary, is the downloads button, which will be always visible. We're currently... Um, the downloads button in the stable version, currently in stable version 134, only appears on your toolbar when you are downloading something. Where, if we head back to Canary and we head into our toolbar options, there is an option for the downloads button to enable that or not. And when it's permanently there, um, it's always visible, which I actually think is a nice move. So we could see little tweaks and adjustments rolling out like that. And then, obviously, Google's focus um, is still on eliminating um, MV2 extensions. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen with some of those, if more will be disabled or not. But I'll always keep you guys posted on that because I know that is affecting a lot of users. But guys, that's just really, um, according to the Chrome platform status and a bit of a guesstimation on my part, um, what we could see more or less roll out with 135 next week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.